guys, how are you doing? This is Mango Etc. And I'm here to bring you the review for One Piece Manga Chapter 971. So it is essentially crunch time. The execution has been put in place. We are at that day, we are at that time. It is happening right now. And even now, Odin is still thinking about his people trying to get, come up with a solution to the problem that they is they are in now and even now and I say even now because of what we find out at the end towards the end of the chapter he's still trying to make deals with Orochi and Kaido and we know how that went for him last time but even now he's there standing trying to make a deal with him and he's like yo set a time limit if any one of us survive the time limit you gotta let the survivors go Basically, he's willing to give up his life in this moment, as we see as the episode, as the chapter goes on. And they're like, yeah, right, cool. You know, we'll give you an hour. Anyone still standing in an hour? You know, they're, they're good to go. They can go. So, before Odin hops into this hot water bath with oil, we are told this execution method has been used before. One that has been used before in the past it has taken seconds to kill the people that have entered. So in Hops Odin, he so far he survived a couple of minutes. I think it's four minutes. I think it's four, maybe five. But he's, he's, regardless of that, he's done. He's gone above and beyond anybody who's had this execution methods before. It is a testament to the strength of man, one's skin, which has been mentioned within the chapter as well. But not only is he surviving this, you know, boiling, he's also enduring the weight of all of, is it nine of them? So he's getting boiled and holding up nine donnies. Some of them heavy, Neko. This guy, Odin, Odin's rap sheet is impressive. <laughs> is impressive. From birth, my man was a G. And he'll probably die a G as well. I'm, I'm reckoning he might... Um, he might come out the bath and then die a little bit later. But I reckon this is the key point, the key pivotal point of which leads to his death. But yeah... So that starts off the chapter, and then as the chapter goes on, we find out just why Orochi is so mad. Basically, Wano did his family family dirty, so now he wants to do Wano dirty. Mm, fair enough. He was mistreated. You know, it's not right to blame everybody, but that's like a kind of typical villain shonen trope. You know, like you know, you blame everybody. When you should just be blaming the one kind of thing. So, you know, that that was it. And then we have the bit with Shinobu, who hops into here, who's wielding the sword. So, I thought within this chapter, we will get to find out why exactly she's afraid of sharp objects. Because clearly she wasn't always afraid of sharp objects. So, I think there might be a lead to that, which we're getting to. But within this chapter, chapter she reveals... I don't know how she knows them, maybe we'll find that out later on, but, but she basically knew about why Odin was doing the foolish dance earlier. He was trying to save the lives of, I think it was a hundred people, and, you know, he was trying to do that, and once, and once Odin realised that Kaido, and I guess essentially Orochi as well, did him dirty, didn't keep to their to, uh, part of the bargain, he was like, alright, cool war <laughs> and we know how that turned out for him and you know, he's in his current predicament i got the chapter right there you know the chapter there, you know holding up the strong yeah so yeah we knew we know sorry where that got him and you know he's here where he is now so yeah that's the only thing i gotta say about this chapter i think it deserves a free story and but actually did you know what because you got donnie's <sighs> Boiling and holding up people strong, you know, we'll bump it to a four or five. 
why not? Anyway, like always, guys, I'm asking for your thoughts and opinions. If you haven't already, please go to my YouTube channel. But most importantly, take care. Have a nice day.